tend to think of the state of Vermont as a deep blue state, politically as far to the left as you can get. But in Vermont, like in the rest of New England, you can still find Republicans, particularly New England-style moderate Republicans, who can still get elected to statewide office. In 2002, Vermont elected this guy as their governor, Republican named Jim Douglas. Jim Douglas was first elected in 02, re-elected in 04, re-elected again in 06, re-elected again in 08. In each of those re-election battles, he won by huge margins, the Republican governor of Vermont. But in 2009, Jim Douglas announced he wasn't going to run for re-election again. He said he had served long enough. The guy who hoped to carry on his legacy was his longtime lieutenant governor, a man named Brian Doobie. And yes, you got to think it must help to have the name Doobie when you're running for office in Vermont. I kid because I love. Anyway, in that 2010 governor's race, Mr. Doobie faced off against Democratic State Senator Peter Shumlin. And after all those years of Republican governorship and Brian Doobie poised to inherit that mantle as the longtime lieutenant governor, I mean, yeah, it's Vermont, but this was going to be a close race. Nationally, it was rated as a toss-up. In that close, hard-fought race, one of the ways the Democratic candidate distinguished himself was by campaigning against this. This is the Vermont Yankee Nuclear Power Plant, located in southern Vermont. Vermont Yankee is not universally, but broadly kind of hated by Vermonters. It has had all sorts of safety issues over the years. Lots of people in Vermont just wanted it out of the state. And the Democrat in that governor's race, Peter Shumlin, campaigned publicly against it. His Republican opponent was sort of vaguely in favor of the thing. Uh, there were TV ads run against the Republican in that race for supporting the nuclear plant. His opponent, Peter Shumlin, who was against it and never ceased reminding voters of that fact, ultimately ended up winning. It was a squeaker, but Peter Shumlin won. He'd had to fight his way out of a five-way Democratic primary to even get into that race. He was by no means a shoe in but he beat the state's longtime lieutenant governor in part on the strength of his opposition to Vermont's super unpopular nuclear power plant. Once he got to be governor, though, Democrat Peter Shumlin could not just close Vermont Yankee down. Vermont legislators have been trying to pass laws for years and years aimed at trying to get Vermont Yankee out of the state. But they've been stymied by the courts time and again because nuclear power and nuclear safety are regulated by the federal government. So the state being against the plant didn't mean a whole lot when it got to court. State legislators and the governor have been unable to close down that nuclear plant even though they wanted to. Until today. Today, in a surprise announcement, the company that operates the Vermont Yankee nuclear plant said that they plan to shut down the plant next year. They said their decision wasn't the result of political pressure, but rather economic pressure, namely cheaper and more abundant natural gas. Reacting to that announcement today, Vermont Governor Peter Shumlin said this is the right decision for Vermont, and it's the right decision for Vermont's clean energy future. This was the Fukushima nuclear disaster that took place in Japan two years ago. The nuclear meltdown that took place at Fukushima was the result of a massive earthquake and tsunami that knocked out the power supply, and that eventually caused the plant's reactors to melt down. Fukushima happened in March 2011. March 11th, 2011. The day before that happened, on March 10th, the Vermont Yankee nuclear plant got its license renewed by the federal government, a 20-year extension. They got that license renewal to operate the day before Fukushima happened. And here's why that is important. This is what the nuclear reactors at Fukushima looked like before they melted down. Does that look familiar at all? Yeah, it's exactly the same design as the Vermont Yankee nuclear plant. Both plants are made using the exact same GE nuclear reactors. Hi GE, hi boss, hi old boss at least. They were designed and built way back in the 1970s. Same reactor type. After Fukushima happened, lots of attention started to get paid to potential design flaws in that specific reactor. That is in part what ramped up the pressure in Vermont to get Vermont Yankee shut down. Well, now Vermont Yankee is going to be shut down by the end of next year. And once it is shut down for good, that means there will only be 22 more of them. 22 more nuclear reactors at 15 different nuclear plants across the United States that are using the exact same design, the exact same reactor that was used at Fukushima. Fukushima, which is still an ongoing nuclear disaster two and a half years later. For nuclear opponents in this country, it's now one down, 22 more to go. That does it for us tonight. We will see you again tomorrow night. Thank you for being with us. Now it's time for the last word with Lawrence O'Donnell. Have a great night.